which Alan Dershowitz, as we mentioned, named in that same lawsuit, is with us now. Alan, good morning to you. Good morning. I was reading a pre-interview you did with our producer. It appears you're not only prepared to defend yourself, but you also are about to go on the offensive. So let's get to the basics. Your response to the allegations that you had sex with an underage girl uh, all those years ago. What is your response? Totally false and made up. She claims I had sex with her on Jeffrey Epstein's island. The records will show I was on that island once with my wife, my daughter, a prominent Harvard Business School professor, his wife, in-laws and children. I was never out of the sight of my wife. She claims I had sex with her on Jeffrey Epstein's ranch in New Mexico. Records will show I was at the ranch once with friends, with my wife and my daughter, for about an hour. The house wasn't complete. Epstein wasn't even in it. There are no girls around. She claims I had sex with her in the airplanes. Uh, manifests of the flights will show I was never on the airplanes with Did her. you have she any contact totally with Jane Doe number three at all, Alan? Did you ever no, meet her? No, I don't even know who she is. No, I've never seen her. I've never met her. I don't know who she is. And her lawyers have to know this. Her lawyers, Paul Cassell, a former federal judge, and Brad Edwards, deliberately and willfully filed this in a pleading, which they knew I had no opportunity to respond to in court, without doing any investigation. If they had simply investigated the manifest of the airplanes, if they had checked my travel records, if they had asked me and I could have given them the names of these people who were witnesses, they would know the well, story is totally Well, let me ask you the these question. These lawyers that... engaged in unethical behavior and should be disbarred. Well, let me ask you a question I'm sure you would ask them. These are not guys who just fell off a turnip truck, Alan. These, these right. are well-seasoned lawyers. One is a former federal judge. Why would they drag right. you, why would they drag Prince Andrew into a case like this if they thought they had absolutely no merit? Because they filed a paper in which they didn't ask to try to prove it. They didn't say, we allege it, we want to prove it. They just threw it in there. It's the legal equivalent of scribbling something on, on a toilet stall and then running away. They didn't think there would be any response, and they will rue the day that they filed this unethical Why would two seasoned lawyers they, think there would be, be no disbarred. response if you drag Alan Dershowitz into a lawsuit like this? Because I'm not a party to the lawsuit. I have no opportunity to respond. They didn't ask for a hearing. The woman has said she wants to have a full investigation. I welcome a full investigation. I'm not trying to silence her. I've challenged her to repeat the statement to the press so that I can sue for defamation. She has repeated the statements about the prince. She has studiously refused to produce the statements about me. I have challenged her to file rape criminal charges against me because if she does, she exposes herself to criminal prosecution. I have challenged the lawyers to repeat these statements in public so there can be a defamation hearing. They want to just throw this stink bomb and then avoid any responsibility for it. They will not get away with this. There will be legal proceedings. There will be hearings. They will be deposed. I will be deposed. The records will be produced. The truth will come out, and it will show these two unethical lawyers should be disbarred. I am completely, absolutely innocent of any and all charges. You get the feeling this isn't the last we've heard of this. Alan Dershowitz, Alan, thank, absolutely you, for, not. thank you for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you.